dramatik som det ser ut nu även de närmaste veckorna. Okej, vi ska fortsätta diskutera det här om en stund om överraskningar som kan uppstå före valet i november. Men nu ska vi till Kalifornien där vår utsända har träffat en vagabond bekymrad över USAs rykte i världen. När James Beerman och hans familj igår gick till vallokalen så var det för att åstadkomma någon form av förändring i USA. Well, uh, I don't want to sound like a cliché, but uh, definitely change. I think we've had uh, eight uh, years too many of George Bush, so uh, I think anyone would be better than him. Men han har inte haft någon tur med de senaste valen, demokrat som han är. Såväl Al Gore som John Kerry föll mot George Bush i de senaste två valen. Och igår kväll följde han Super Tuesday framför tvn. I personally don't stay up all night. There may be some people who are that dedicated. But I'll go to bed you know, in a few hours and turn on the TV in the morning and see, uh, see if my guy pulled through. See if my candidate uh, made it. Hopefully he did. Liksom många demokrater är James Beerman kritisk till USAs förda utrikespolitik sedan 11 september 2001. Någonting som man hoppas ska förändras framöver. Uh, you know, certainly uh, when, when the hijackers um, flew the airplanes into the World Trade Center and uh, into the Pentagon, you know, that was a very tragic event and uh, you know, I think it kind of thrust us into a Um, situation that didn't need to turn out the way that it has. I think going into Iraq uh, has absolutely nothing to do with uh, September 11th. You know, there were no Iraqis on the uh, on the planes that flew into the World Trade Center. James är en vagabond som har slagit ner sina bopålar och bildat familj med Bachara Pon som han träffade i Thailand för nästan tio år sedan. Nu är det mer familjeliv som gäller, men de drar fortfarande iväg på resor under semestrarna. Och James har märkt av hur USAs rykte har försämrats i världen sedan kriget mot terrorismen startade efter 11 september-attackerna 2001. Just after 9-11, uh, people were very sympathetic to me as an American traveling. But I think as time went on, uh, it changed. People weren't as friendly, and, and I'm saying just in gen general, you know, people would find out you're an American, and, and you know, oh, an American. And this was, of course, after we had gone into Iraq and you know, Afghanistan and done some of the things that we've done uh, militarily. Och han har själv märkt av USAs jakt på misstänkta terrorister. Efter en resa i Centralamerika med familjen fick han problem när han skulle ta sig in i landet. Familjen stoppade sin gränskontroll och blev förhörda av FBI. They became suspicious of us, the, the American border agents, for some reason. And I'm still not certain to this day why they became suspicious of us. They took my passport, they went through every single page. Uh, they asked me why I was wearing a, a beard, you know, am I a Muslim, am I a convert? Uh, they found in my passport a, uh, I had a little uh, picture of a, a cartoon pig with a, it was crossed out, you know, and meaning like no pork. And uh, they, they said, you don't eat pork? And I said, you know, no, I thought it was funny. I found that in India at a McDonald's and uh, they put this little uh, sticker on my uh, food to say that there was no pork included in it, you know, and I liked it and I kept it in my passport. Det börjar bli läggdags hemma hos familjen Beerman. Och oavsett vem som har vunnit när han vaknar så räknar han med förändring av USAs politik efter höstens presidentval oavsett vem som får posten. I'm definitely counting on change. Uh, The way I see it is uh, anything, anyone is better than what we've had the last eight years with Bush and Cheney uh, in office. It's been pretty devastating uh, for our reputation overseas um, and for us here at home. You know, I'm hoping whether it's a Republican or a Democrat, uh, whoever they are, he or she, uh, I hope it uh, does change and uh, sets us on a new course.
Lars Adaktusson i Washington. Utrikes- och säkerhetspolitiken har dalat på, på listan över viktiga frågor.